Praise the Lord and welcome to our Wednesday noonday prayer. My name is Sister Dr. Jeannie Sanders and I'll be leading us in prayer today. And um, today we're talking about our physical health and wellness and wholeness. And one of the key scriptures for this week's lesson is found in John chapter 10, verse 10, which says, the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. And today we're going to just go to God, just seeking God for the abundant life that he intended for each of us to have through the uh, death of Christ and his resurrection and that we can achieve as we seek to uh, engage our physical health as well as our spiritual health. So let us look to the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come to you this day, God, to just give you thanks and praise. We thank you because you are good and you are good always, God. You are the author and the finisher of our faith. You are the one that created us, the one that gives us life and that more abundantly, God. We come to you this morning, this day, God, to just worship you, God, to give you all the glory, to give you all the honor and to give you all the praise because you deserve all of our praise, God. There's nothing that we have that you have not allowed us to receive, God. We just honor you this day. We praise you. We worship you. We magnify you. And we just seek your presence. We seek your presence in everything that we are doing on today, everything that we are going through on today, Lord. We're focusing this week about our physical bodies, God. We know that our physical body is where the Holy Spirit resides, and that is the place where you dwell where you give us unction, where you give us wisdom. And we have to honor this temple, God, this physical temple that you've given us. And sometimes we have fallen short of that, God. We have fallen short of honoring this temple because of just uh, our own stressful lives, our own worries, our own concerns. Sometimes we don't focus on the temple that is our physical body. We focus a lot on our spiritual life, but we have to as well focus on our physical health. And that means eating the right foods. That means exercising. That means getting enough rest, Lord. And sometimes we are guilty. I know I am guilty as well, Lord, of not always honoring this temple, God, that you've given us. Sometimes we overeat, Lord God. Sometimes we undereat, God. Sometimes we eat too late, Lord God. Sometimes we don't eat when we should, Lord. And we just definitely don't eat the right foods at all times, but it is important, God, that we honor these bodies that you have given us, Lord. So help us to recognize the importance of these physical bodies, even though they are temporary, God. They are what you have given us, which is our bodies are fearfully and wonderfully made, God, in your image, God, after your likeness, God. You created us, Lord God, to dwell in these bodies, to do the work that you called us to do. And we know that health is wealth. And when we don't have health, Lord God, we will be inhibited in what we can do. We'll be inhibited in being able to serve like we need to, Lord. So let us recognize, God, that we need to take care of these physical bodies, God, because we only have one. And we're not going to get another one until the resurrection, Lord. So let us honor these temples, God, that dwell, that where you dwell, Lord. Let us do the things, Lord God, that are pleasing to you because you care about our wholeness, our wellness, not just our spiritual health, not just uh, one aspect, but every aspect of our lives you are concerned about. And it is your will, God, that we have life and that more abundantly, God. We know there are many chronic illnesses. Many people suffer from disease, God, and dis-ease, God. But we know, God, that you are faithful, God, to deliver us, God, as we trust you, as we put our faith and our hope in you. We know that you're a healer. We know that you're our redeemer, Lord. We know that you're able to make a way out of no way, God. So we just believe, God, that even when we have developed symptoms, not necessarily saying they're of our own making, but because of this fallen world, we sometimes struggle with disease, but we know, God, that we can give those burdens to you. We can cast every care upon you and believe that you'll heal us, Lord God, according to your will, God. And we lay before you, God, every person, Lord God, that is dealing with a sickness, Lord God. I pray healing over their lives, God. I pray that you would touch their bodies, God. Heal them, Lord God. Touch them, Lord, from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet, Lord. Let them know that your healing balm is there for them, God. We pray healing over those that are 
infirm, those that are in the hospital, Lord God, those that are sick, Lord God, those that are dealing with difficult diagnoses, Lord God, touch them, Lord God, let them feel your touch, Lord God, let them know, God, that you love them, God, and that you will walk beside them, Lord God, even in the shadow of death, Lord God, you are a very present help, God, and they are never alone, God, because, Lord, you are our author and you are our finisher, Lord God, of our faith, God, and we we walk in faith, God, not by sight. We walk believing, God, that, Lord God, everything is working together for good so that no matter what things that we may be dealing with physically, Lord God, we know that you'll sustain us, God. But we have to operate both in faith, faith and works. Lord. So we need to work, Lord God, towards being well, Lord God, being whole, Lord God, in both physical mind, spiritual mind, all aspects, Lord God. So help us, Lord, to honor these bodies, Lord God. Help us to exercise, Lord God. Help us to take time, Lord God, to spend a few minutes, Lord God, walking, Lord God. We know that sometimes we have not always desired to do those type of exercise or do different things, but it's never too late, God. We are never too late. As long as we are here on this earth, God, you still have purpose, you still have a plan, and we can begin, Lord God, to take small steps to make changes, Lord God, so that we can be healthy, Lord God. If it's walking, Lord God, we start walking. If you become a runner, you have to walk before you run, or if you become just a person that uh, begins to just lift weights, even in your home, God, you can raise up, you know, use cans or God, whatever it is, Lord God, that we need to take to begin to live life in the wholeness that you intended, Lord, because the enemy, he does desire to kill us, to steal, a, to steal and destroy our life in short, not time span, but we know that greater is he that is in us than he, does, he that is in the world, God, and we know, Lord God, that you, Lord, only want good things for us, only healthy things for us, only things that will make us have the most abundant life that you've already ordained for us, Lord God. So help us, Lord God, to give time to our physical being as well as our spiritual being, because as it is in the natural, so it is in the spiritual, Lord God. We have to give that time to our health, Lord God, so that we can live long, so that we can see future generations come forth, Lord God, so that we can pour out to them so we can give to them, Lord God, so that they'll be blessed as well as what, we sh what we've learned over the years, Lord God. We can give it to others and we can be here present, Lord God, to pour out to them so that they can learn from the wealth of the experiences that the olders have got gathered from the younger, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, to do these things, Lord God. Sometimes it can feel overwhelming, Lord God. The thought of just beginning to eat, change your eating habits, we may have learned these things from a child, Lord God, certain aspects of how we eat, God, and some things we have just a hard time breaking those habits, Lord God, but help us, Lord God, to go to you, God, when we're feeling like we don't know how to begin, Lord, or how to take better care of our physical help. Help us to turn to you, God, so that you can give us that direction, give us that courage, give us that strength to say no, God, and to do things in moderation and not just do things just because it's our culture, or it's our history, or it's what we know, God. Help us be open to other things, new foods that we haven't tried, new vegetable sources that we have never even cooked before. Help us to do things, Lord God, that will provide nourishment because nutrition is our medicine, Lord God. It is the way that can keep us well. It is the way that can keep us healthy. So let us do those things, Lord God, that will bring about wholeness, Lord, to our physical bodies, Lord God, so that we can continue to do the work that you called us to do, that we can be strong, we can be vibrant, we can be well, and we can be an example to others of the goodness of you, God, and the power, Lord God, that you bestowed upon us to do your work. We want to be able to have energy and have strength to do everything that you want us to do, you've called us to. We don't want to feel sluggish or feel just overwhelmed with uh, anxiety or stress because we have so many things that we're doing beyond taking care of these temples, Lord, where you live, God. Help us, Lord God, to honor, Lord God, this temple, God. Help us to do what your word declares, Lord God. So as our you pray that John pray that our soul would that our we pray that our soul would prosper even as our uh, body prospers, Lord God. I'm sorry that we prosper that we would be in good health even as our soul prospers, Lord God. It's your word that we would be in good health even as our soul prospers. You want us to stay in good health both physically as well as. Uh, 
spiritually. It's your will, Lord God, that we honor these bodies, Lord God. So help us to do that, Lord God. Help us to not be fearful to make changes, small changes, small steps, Lord God, so that we will begin, Lord God. Let us never feel like, oh, it's too late. This is just what I do. Help us to say, yes, I'm going to make those changes so that I can be well physically in my body and that I can continue to do the work that you've called us to do lord thank you lord for all that you're doing god we thank you lord for the the just the blessings of your word we thank you for the fellowship lord god of your spirit and the holy spirit that will guide us and direct us and give us what we need to live the life that you called us to lord god Lord, I thank you for being God. I thank you for hearing our cries. Thank you for hearing the prayers, Lord God, of your saints, Lord God, and the needs that we have, God. We just give all these prayers and all these issues to you and commit them to you, believing that you are going to, you who began a good work in us, well, you'll carry it out until the day of Jesus Christ. You will do the work in us. You'll help us, Lord God, to live a life, Lord God, that is pleasing to you. You'll help us to honor these temples, Lord God. Help us to make better choices, Lord God, and to just take the small steps, Lord God, that are necessary, God, to be the people that you've called us to be, Lord God. And I just thank you, Lord God, for this time, God, to pray, Lord God, and to lift up your name and to go before you on behalf of the church and for the saints of God who may be facing, Lord God, some health challenges, Lord God, and just believe in God that you will turn it around, God, at just the right time, Lord God. Do it, Lord God, because you are faithful, Lord God. I pray peace and encouragement for every person that is listening, God. I pray that they would just believe, God, that you're able to do exceedingly and abundantly and above all that we could ever ask or think, God. And I just thank you, Lord, for this time of prayer. Thank you for this time of devotion. Thank you for this time of seeking your face and your will. Thank you for this time, Lord God, to worship you, to give you honor and praise, Lord God, and help us, Lord God, most of all, to honor you in every aspect of our life, God. I give you honor and praise because you alone are worthy. It is in your name I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you guys for joining us for our midday prayer, noon prayer, and be sure if you're in need of prayer to join us on the website, AFC website, to uh connect for the virtual altar from 12 15 to 1 p.m as well as make sure to join us on friday at 6 p.m for zooming with the bishop where he's going to go even further in depth about our week's teachings about our physical health and wholeness and wellness and i pray that you guys uh, will share this video with someone who may need to be encouraged in their physical health and uh, you guys have a blessed day thank you for joining god bless you